I'm broke ass steward. I'm a writer, a wanderer, a big mouth, and a seeker of the weird and wonderful. I used to write zines, which turn into travel guides. Now I got a TV show. Each week I'll explore the strange, unique, and fringe elements of a new city to show you that you don't need money to enjoy your life, and proving that for a broke ass, life is not about the things that you own, but the stuff that you do. Now you might be wondering if you're a broke ass. Well, if you like dive bars, bad beer, and great company, then you're one of us. If you enjoy a bite on the street as much as an expensive restaurant, then you're one of us. If you believe that you're more than what you own, then you're one of us. And if you're one of us, then this show is for you. So, are you one of us? I'm broke ass too. I write books, I have fun, I talk a lot of shit. Now I got a TV show. No matter how much you love New York, the city hates you. Don't take it personally. She's better than you are. Her game is tighter, her mind is quicker, her swagger is more believable. She's not the one who got away, she's the one you never had a chance of getting. And this is what makes just being near her so exhilarating. New York will never be yours, you will always be hers. But this show isn't about getting owned by New York, it's quite the opposite. It's about exploring this fine city, getting the most of it, and doing so on your own terms. New York has a grand tradition of nurturing the weird, unique, and the demented. And that's just what we're in search of. The parts of the city that people forgot exist, or choose to ignore. One of the best parts about the subway is this kind of shit, the, uh, the free entertainment. Come on. Moscow's transit system may have more stations, but no major metropolitan area other than New York can claim 24-hour service and thousands of miles of tracks. It is art. It is the veins and arteries of the city. It is an attraction in itself. New York is nothing without the subway. Broke ass to it and I'm currently getting blown away by New York. Ever since the trains first reached Coney Island, it's always been the playground of the working class. Oh, yeah. Recently, the city's been accepting bids to redevelop Coney Island. Where else can you go and shoot the freak? <laughs> with big chains like Nike Town, <laughs> high rise hotels, and you guessed it, condos. How do you feel about the changes going on in Coney Island? I wish I could talk better. I'll give you a good blow by blow description. <laughs> Too commercialized. Right. That's how things go, I guess, at this point. Yeah, do you ever get out there and shoot the freak? Yeah. Do you ever hit him? Nah. <laughs> He's quick, right? Capitalism <laughs> has no mercy. Right. Aren't rich people content enough with the Hamptons? <laughs> I've never been to the Mermaid Parade before. I'd love to go. It looks wild. It goes one dollar wonder. One dollar wonder. Looking for the one dollar deal. Don't you know that one is the magic number? So I run with the one dollar bill. How funny is this big phallic thing that says Cummings on it? <laughs> Greenwood Cemetery is spooky and beautiful. The buzzing and bustling of Brooklyn surrounds it, yet inside it's a serene garden of green, interspersed with statuary cool and gravestones. Being in Greenwood Cemetery is that often you're the only living person here. And seriously, there's not another goddamn person out here. In the 1860s, Greenwood was oh, so renowned cool. that it was the country's second most popular tourist attraction, huh? trailing only Niagara Falls. Anybody home? You can tell no broke asses are buried here. Like there. No broke ass I would totally shit. just come out here with some friends some nights and just like smoke a joint and wander. The reason I like it is because it's one of the few public places where you can escape the madness of New York without actually stepping foot outside the city. That and because it's free. Today I'll be visiting the grave of Jean-Michel Basquiat, a broke ass icon who changed the world of art in innumerable ways. I just cannot find this freaking Basquiat. Basquiat is the cat who's responsible for taking street art uh, out of the alleys and into the galleries. Sorry, De Lorenzo. Put my ass on you. Ooh. So finally found Basquiat. I've been looking for him for a while now. So this is the dude, Basquiat. He uh, pretty much changed street art. He uh, single-handedly brought things like graffiti, wheat pasting, and tagging and shit into the what's considered high art. People have left notes for him too. This one's from recently. It says, uh, "At your deathbed. At your deathbed." Clean, clean your sheets, get a new futon. I don't know what that means. I kind of feel like I'm grave robbing right now, reading other people's notes. Magician of the earth, in the sky now you fly. For a guy who made such a mark on art, he hasn't really made a, a mark on this cemetery. Maybe it's better that way. Takes more of an intrepid explorer to find it. <laughs>
I'm meeting up with my buddy Josh Bernstein, who's a Cheap Eats writer here in New York. He's going to show me Jackson Heights and all the amazing, cruddy little spots that have great eats that are awfully cheap. Oh gosh, whatever you want. You can pretty much find it out here. I'm a little suspicious of this uh, East Coast Mexican food. Right? Well, you but know, I'll take your word for it since you are the professional. I'm a little suspicious of West Coast people by nature. So. <laughs> How do you say You said Hurle Coche? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said it right? Yeah. All right, first time out. I'm going to do this. Hmm. There's a heaven, really and I go there. I've got a feeling it's gonna be a lot like Jackson Heights. You can get whatever you want. It's like a gangbang for all your senses. This is so good. God damn. I want to be Christopher Columbus. Uh -huh. You look like I bet you look just like you too. That guy. He is in every parade in New York City. That's mutton soup. Mutton soup. A little gamey, so I don't know about. I like it. Oh I should have known by the steam rising yeah. off. Some salt tea? Yeah, let's do it. It's weird. It's like milky, salty tea. So he's making the noodles right there. I think we have some chicken samosas and some veggie ones. I like, can't mm. tell you for sure which is which right I now. These are the chicken ones. I love samosas. Actually, we're doing like almost seven country food here. Yeah. Bangladesh, Nepal, India, Pakistan, okay. Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Tibet, Nepal. It's a real yeah, curry. That's so cool. And you've spent less than 20 bucks. Less than 20 bucks, and I think you're trying to kill me. I'm pretty sure you're trying to kill me because I'm, I'm almost dead. So are you willing to admit that New York is better than San Francisco? They both got their perks. They both, both but got do their they perks. have this? <laughs> Maybe. A hundred niggas fold and they break in the cold, cracking like Ritz. Get detained and snitch till the stains of a rat brain slid off a strip. Woo. I don't rap very often, but I do when I have to. Get me a drink hey. inside and we get play craps too. No, I'm just oh, kidding. That's <laughs> my man. I, I told you. That's my man. All right, finally, this is the thing I've been waiting for all day. I know I talk a lot about old New York, but this is actually old New York. This place has been here since probably jazz age, when like, you know, it was an authentic juke joint, and it still is. I mean, all the places around it have come and gone. You know, Billy Holiday, Duke Ellington have come and gone, but this place is still here. It's the kind of place where the cats get off the Lincoln Center and they come and sit in for a real ass set here. And some of this highfalutin jazz and sushi shit, it's like a real place with real people, and that's what I dig about it. And the douchebags from downtown who've done fake jazz stuff down there haven't quite figured it out yet. I mean, we're all the way up here at 149th Street and they're still afraid to come up here. Six years now. Billy Holiday, she had a regular spot just next door. Wow. Right? Dino Washington, she lived directly she's across the street. Favorites. Right. She lived Dino directly Washington. across the street. Uh, Sonny Rollins was a regular here. So this place is just like you know, haunted. And it's still no cover charge. I, I love it. I love it. Showed you New York like a broke ass would do. Ain't nothing wrong with being a broke ass, and I'm glad you got to come along. Showed you how many amazing things are in this city, and the fact that you don't need money, you don't have to have all these expensive things to have a great time and to really enjoy it, because this city is brilliant. There's special things under every little rock. So I'm um, glad you got to come along. The only question you have to ask yourself now is, um, are you one of us? See you next time. Bye. My thermostat broke in, rooftop leaking. No, there's more money, I just don't know where they keep it. Shit is top secret. My only scheme is a dollar and a dream, so I keep sleeping. See, it ain't no reason for me to be job seeking.